All right, what is up YouTube? So uh, I made day two at YCS Philly with Labyrinth. I don't think this deck was too special, but I still wanted to give you guys a list of what I was playing and like the thought process of how I built this deck for the event. So let's just hop right into it. I don't wanna waste any time because Labyrinth is pretty represented in the top table. So let's just get started. I played two Lady Labyrinth, one Lovely, and then two Ariana. Um, Ariana is really good. I did want to consider playing three of this, but I felt like something like Prosperity is just better because Ariana is just more susceptible to stuff like Imperm and Gamma and maybe even Valor. People are playing that. So I just wanted to play less copies of this because it's just susceptible to that. And then uh, two Lady, I don't think Lady is that great. It's fine if you're playing a bunch of trap cards, but in my deck where you're playing like the minimum amount of trap cards in your deck, it just isn't that good. And having two in your deck is like fine. So that is it for the more standard Labyrinth before the Furniture build. And now for the Furnitures, we play uh, Shand, the Stovey, and then the one Ku Klux. So... I wanted to max out on both of the furnishes. I think they're very, very good. They give you a lot of resources. Like, like when you play more and more throughout the turns, like these cards just become insane. And Ku Klux is just very, very broken. I didn't like the two or three copies because I feel like this is one of the cards that breaks your hand if you play multiples of. Uh, and then, you know, obviously the Field Spell and the Lovely are also bricks. So I didn't just want to play too many bricks. So just wanted to play the two cards which is the Ku clock the lovely i guess the the fill spell as well but these cards were insane I, I really liked these cards these cards were definitely ridiculous and then uh for the spell and shot cards we played the one field spell didn't really like it that much i'll talk about that in a bit but uh the three big and then the three uh welcome labyrinth um the field spell it was decent i think it was pretty good but it just kind of felt like underwhelming especially in my worst hands so definitely moving forward i might cut this card it just honestly depends on how low power the format is uh next format but this card just didn't come up because it just it kind of just made my hands worse and if i was playing i was probably winning anyway so definitely gonna cut this and then obviously the three of these i saw people playing uh two of the welcome labyrinth i didn't really understand that because this deck only loses when you don't get the engine so i think these two are just like mandatory three ofs especially moving forward so and then for the regular trap cards like the non-labyrinth trap cards i played uh d barrier i played punishment and then i played the karma can oh ooh. so yeah i played a uh, D barrier because this card is just generically good against something like uh, purely super heavy samurai branded. I thought that like, branded was going to be like pretty represented as well as something like purely. I didn't play any purely, unfortunately, but D barrier did come clutch against uh, the few branded players that I did play. It also was like really decent against Sprite that I also played, so that was like really good. And you can't like get Zeus, so that's like super, you know, great. Uh, punishment is just generically good against everything and then karma cannon this card was insane against the cash players uh that i played against uh at least the ones that i you know won against so uh these cards are, like really good i think these are pretty standard i feel like even next format maybe d bear is like a little bit worse but i still think like these cards are all three are just really really great uh all perform pretty pretty well and then for the consistency cards that are not the Labyrinth cards, we played the uh, three Extravagance, two Prosperity. As I said before, I didn't want to play multiple Arianas or you know, three uh, Ariana because I felt like Prosperity was better to get to stuff like generic like trap cards if I needed it. I can get to the clock. I can get to you know whatever I can like excavate and whatever I need, I can just get instead of just playing like another normal summon that can also break my hand if i have like multiple arianas or like if i get hand trapped is you know i don't get to that big welcome of welcome labyrinth so i just felt like the 
uh, five pots are just like really, really solid. I really liked it. All of these, they worked out perfectly. And then for the hand traps, I played uh, triple nib. I think nib is, it was like really, really solid, but I just didn't draw it enough. Like I felt like a lot of people were playing into nib very, very like heavily, uh, at least the players I was playing against. So nib, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't think I'm going to play it next format. Maybe depending on how like the format shapes up. I don't think nib is too bad next format, especially because cash is still like pretty decent. But overall, I'm not too sure because Labyrinth might be super popular as well. So you might have to play stuff like Bell in the future. And also Branded as well. So like, Bell could be like pretty popular. And then I played Droll. I think Droll is just uh, overall just really good against a lot of the uh, decks like Super Heavy Samurai, Purely. Uh, pretty decent against Cash as well. Pretty decent against uh, Sprite if they have like a very ad hand, if that makes sense. Uh, Droll, I don't really think it was that insane. Like sometimes it was insane and then sometimes it was okay. Um, moving forward, probably not going to play this because you don't really need it for anything other than like Super Heavy Samurais because that deck was like insane. We didn't draw them. And then we, I played Gamma and I played Imperm. Gamma was insane, obviously. Obviously, this card's Rusting Pepperonis. This card's that one. But moving forward, I might play something like Strike because now you don't have a way to play around something like Ash or Bell. And I did get Bell and Ash a lot, and I just didn't have Gamma, so that was unfortunate. But I think something like Strike or maybe even something like Inspector Border could like be pretty decent to stop hand traps moving forward. And I don't think Gamma was, like, necessarily needed next format. But, like, for this deck, it was kind of important. And then in Perm, I played this over Ash Blossom. And it was, like, mainly because it worked a little bit better with the Lady Labyrinth. In case, like, I could, like, get have an Imperm and then have Lady on field somehow. And then I could Imperm, get, like, follow-up or something like that. Or, like, another trap card. And I was, like, pretty decent. It was also a little bit better into some matchups i thought and like going second it could hit like a rise heart and that could you know somewhat play so i don't know it's pretty decent um and then moving on to the side deck i'm playing 40 for the main so uh for the side deck i played three ash because i didn't main it i think ash is pretty decent uh i did lose to one brandon player but it just just didn't matter it was day two and i already lost the first round and uh i was already x2 so it just didn't really matter i think ash did pretty well uh it was just like that like more hand traps going second if i really needed it against like cash and like sprite or whatever or even like branded because that deck just kind of loses to ash and then uh ogre i think ogre was okay-ish it was like good against the sprite that i did play uh, but besides that, I don't think it was like that crazy because I didn't play much purely or super heavy samurai. I don't think, yeah, I didn't play any purely at all. So it wasn't like that insane, but it was like still pretty decent. Wish I played something like strike so I can like deal with stuff like, uh, you know, battle and ash, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then for the last hand trapped, I played the Bissios. Bissios are insane. This is crazy against the branded player. I had like drew like Magnema and Ball Drag, and I just like summoned both. Uh, I returned one of them to him with Big Welcome, used it again, and it was just like over from there. Th these cards are like super insane, and I don't see a reason why you should cut this from your side deck moving on in the future, unless there's just no light and dark decks. So, and I doubt that because branded is going to be really solid. And then for the four traps, I played uh, DDG. Uh, the two viruses and a pointer. Rest in pepperonis, a pointer. This card wasn't really that great. I uh, only draw it once, and I guess it was pretty decent. I a pointer, and then I eradicated. Then that was like really insane because they did top deck the bell. So being able to like hit the bell and then go eradicator to like rip like four spells from their hand was pretty pretty solid. Deck Devi, um, it was pretty decent. I mean, I played against Sprite. I don't think I resolved it. I think going first, I did. I think I did resolve one of them against one of the Sprite players. But overall, this was like mainly for Super Heavy Samurais, and I didn't play that until the last round, and it just didn't come up. 
Uh, different Dimension Ground. This is also for Super Heavy Samurai. Um, but, like, it was just, like, really decent against, like, Math Mech or something like that. So, these cards weren't, like, that insane. Like, Eradicator was obviously the best one because Eradicator is, like, broken. So, for the extra deck, it was not really anything important. Uh, Chaos Goddess it was just, like, a card that... I can out like big monsters with that can't be targeted like chaos angel or something like that or can't be destroyed by battle or whatever just to out like really hard monsters get out because i do have stuff like the furnitures to like spam the board uh phoenix and uh cerberus these cards are just really good for out in like generically good cards um and i didn't want to play like Mudcracker or anything i didn't play that because I, I don't think that card is like particularly great because like at the that point you kind of just already win unless you're playing like the mirror and then in that case you kind of want to do close out the game but i felt like i wasn't going to play that many mirrors and i just didn't play any mirrors at all uh then we play the tri brigade and the garura these cards were like the best cards in my extra deck obviously because you know i just didn't go into my extra deck much but i did set punishment and i also played the natis two natis is just really really solid this card was like really good uh, just to, like, out cards, draw cards. I think, like, my last round before, you know, I went X3 uh, in day two, I think I could have just not activate the effect of, like, the Tri Brigade, and I probably could have been fine because they had Gamma, but I also was top decking because I had, you know, zero cards after I interrupted all their plays and I went first as well, so it it, it, it is what it is, but... Yeah, those were like the only useful cards. I also played like the fossil cards. I also played the, the XYZ, the aggregator. Uh, none of these cards came up. Like Omega, like all like all of these cards just didn't come up. Malong didn't come up. And then Chaos Angel. This is like the card of the format or, or the card of the event because it just came out. I don't think this card is like that great. I think it's like pretty decent again against like Labyrinth or something like a more control deck where you can't really otk because they're just going to activate trap cards to uh protect themselves from dying or something like that so like chaos angel to force out back row and then have like a big beater is like really decent but overall like i wasn't getting into like super grindy games i was either winning like turn three or turn four or i was losing like very quickly i lost to like cast super quickly i lost to uh life turn sprite pretty quickly i lost the super heavy samurai uh, super heavy samurai pretty quickly and then like my wins it was like pretty quickly maybe like the one cast game i went back and forth but like game three i just eradicated them and it, it was like over in like t maybe 20 minutes top so like overall this deck is pretty solid i think it's gonna be really good uh next format maybe make a few changes like psalm strike uh maybe i'll play inspector board